Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jen and this is Faraby and I have a fluent pet transitioning from learning resources button update for you guys. So what I did whenever I received our new kit, I rebuilt Faraby's board over here exactly how our other board over here was. So we do have affiliate links for Fluent Pet and Learning Resources buttons below for you guys. If you decide to go on a button journey with your dog, we would really appreciate if you would use our affiliate links. That means a lot to us, it really helps us out. So I had already set up her Learning Resources buttons to kind of mimic the Fitzgerald key. And so of course, whenever I got her Learning Resources buttons, it was really easy just to mimic that. On the Fluent Pet kit, you'll notice there's like two tails coming down and so that's really the only difference that is between these two boards but what I've been doing is adding the new buttons we add only to the fluent pet system rather than adding them to both and I'm trying to encourage her to use this system rather than only this system she typically gravitates towards her old system and I'm sure it's because it's familiar so at first whenever we received our fluent pet system I had set it up like I just told you, but I put it over on this side because this was nothing before. I noticed that she wasn't using it, you know, and why would she shut her other buttons? So I put it after two days in the place of her old buttons. And the reason I did that is I was hoping that, you know, because she gravitates toward this side, I was hoping that would, you know, draw her to go over here and use the buttons. She does explore that board, but oftentimes she goes here first and I'm encouraging her to say the same thing over on this board or at the very least, like she, she says, let's do tricks a ton. That's her favorite thing to say. So if she says it on this board, then I'll go to the other board and say it to her. So basically anything she says on the big buttons, I go say on the other buttons and I try to show her where those buttons are. I would say maybe like 30% of the time she's using her Fluent Pet buttons over her learning resources buttons. But I think that there will be a switch, you know, where hopefully she prefers these. When she uses the Fluent Pet though, she's really proud of herself. And I noticed that she can actually press things a lot better over there but just over here she has to do a lot of walking to get to the same thing and over here i'll do an overhead shot so you can see but on the fluent pet buttons it's so much more compact and everything's just like you know she can basically stand mostly in kind of one place with very little movement and press what she wants rather than this one she has to you know take several steps to get to the next word i think once she gets used to it she'll be you know much happier of course so the reason i'm actually trying to slowly move her over this way is because whenever i have moved her learning resources buttons around the past she has gotten upset and i didn't think about it you know before but whenever I did think about it, I was like, wow, you know, it's like taking the keys off of someone's keyboard and moving them around and it would be frustrating. So that's the reason I've done two boards at once, just because I don't want her to be frustrated. And to me, that is the biggest thing. I think that's gonna take us further for her to not get frustrated and upset rather than me trying to force the system on her. I will say her button use has gone up so much because she is using this old system, but with this one, because I am trying to encourage her to use it, I'll come over here and say what Fairby want hmm? on the buttons, like I will press it. And then she has, within the past, at this point, six days, she has gotten so excited whenever I've done that so many times. And she goes over and will just talk back to me on the buttons. It has increased her button use. Like her average was like high 30s, maybe. Like 46 was like a big, big day. Now, one day, I think she had 101 presses. So that's huge. And it wasn't because of I was making her say things twice. It was because she was truly that much more interested. So I think having other button options and having more words available to her and also having it where she can actually press things easier, I think it has just sparked like a, a desire to learn in her. And the other thing that I can tell you I'm doing for sure that I wish that someone had told me to do is I'm interacting with her on the board. So I'm not encouraging her in a way of like, if you do this, you get this type of thing. Um, but what I am doing is I am talking to her on the board. So I'm saying things to her, like what fair be want, hmm? Like I'm pressing the buttons out and you'll see in the videos that I insert. But I'm actually pressing things out for her to encourage her to talk to me on the buttons. 
and it is encouraging her a lot and she's loving it. So if she ever just says want, for example, I'll go over here and I'll say what fair be you want, huh? And I'll say it three or four times, you know, just until, and I'll say it out loud too. So I'll say it on the board and then I'll also say it out loud and just until she responds. And then she'll come over and she'll say, you know, what she wants or at least say something. There are a few times she hasn't, but for the most part she has. And because she really, really likes that interaction between us, it has made her say want more, which is really cute, but she wants me to ask her what she wants. The other thing I do is I ask her what my name is and what her name is, and I'm encouraging her to use the buttons and just say things, you know, and so she knows where words are. So like I said, I ask her what my name is, of course she responds mama, and we've been doing that for a while. And the same thing, I'll ask her what her name is, and she says Faraby. Sometimes she says, Mama therapy. <laughs> Sometimes she says, I love you. But it's just reinforcing that, just like you would with a little kid. Like, you know, you have to tell them things for them to know. Like I said, I'm really proud of how far she's come with this. And if you're on a button journey too, I hope this is helpful for you. Like I said, I just tried to mention a few things that I wish people had mentioned to me. And by the way, just because I'm telling you things, this does not mean this is the right way to do this because this technology and learning with your dog with pressing buttons and having them communicate in this way is so new. Nobody really knows what the right way or the wrong way to do this is. So I'm sharing my experience with you so you can either take it and maybe try it yourself. I'm just sharing my experience and hopefully helping you along or at least have some ideas of things to try. So like I said, there is no right or wrong way to do this because it is so new and that is why I feel like anything that I find out is like, oh my gosh, this is groundbreaking, you know, because it kind of is because this is such uncharted territory that no one really knows what, you know, what's right, what's wrong, like how you can teach them quicker, what's gonna slow them down, things like that. Button clips. What? What? Therapy. Therapy. Want. Want. Hmm? 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 What therapy want, hmm? Go. Go where? Uh -huh. Hmm? Go. Go where? Uh-huh. Relax, go. Let's do tricks. Relax. Um. What? What does that mean? I don't know. Relax, go. Relax, go. Tricks. Relax, go tricks. Do you need to go to the bathroom and do tricks? Okay, let's try. Tricks. Tricks now. now. Good. Tricks now, good. Okay. 
go, go, go where? Mama. Go, Mama, where? Hmm? Where Mama go? All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope this was helpful information to you. If you have any questions about buttons or anything, definitely leave a comment below and ask me. Also, we do have an affiliate link for Fluent Pet, so I will link that for you guys. We also have an affiliate link for Learning Resources buttons, so that's also linked below. If you decide to go on a button journey with your dog, we would really appreciate if you would use our affiliate links. That means a lot to us, it really helps us out. So we hope you have an awesome week and I will link a button playlist up here, something just for you here and a subscribe button up here and we will see you soon. Bye guys.